This weekend, Jamal Adams is riding around in a G-Wagon. I'm not 100% sure. I would assume it's down in Texas where he is originally from. And somebody in the parking lot yelled to him, let's get you to the Cowboys. And his response was this. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, you coming to Dallas? Hey, man, I'm trying, bro. All right. <laughs> all right. He's, all right. I trust him. Okay, so he's in a jacked-up G-Wagon, by the way. I respect that. Lift that thing up a little bit. G-Wagons are some of the coolest-looking vehicles that have ever been created. Also costs one hundred and sixty grand a pop, so good for Jamal Adams out there mm -hmm. living good. He's down in Texas. I'm trying to get to the Cowboys, he said. He had seven potential landing spots. The Dallas Cowboys were one of them. In the eerily similar and intriguing situation here, Earl Thomas at one point ran Ran to the Dallas Cowboys locker room asking for the Dallas Cowboys to bring him out of Seattle to the Dallas Cowboys. It feels like people from Texas and players from Texas would like to at some point either get closer to home or play for the Dallas Cowboys. We're not 100% sure if Jamal Adams truly wants a new contract from the Jets or he just wants to be separated from the Jets eternally because the Jets have a, you know, a chance to stink for the next, I don't know, 20, 30 years. Yeah. Potentially. I'm not, Sam Darnold could be the next great boy wonder who takes the team on his back and takes over. And Le'Veon Bell could potentially become the Le'Veon Bell from years past where he was able to make 10 people miss in one play somehow and become electrifying. And Braden Mann, the punter that they drafted, he could potentially be the thing that puts them over the top in the AFC East that no longer has Tom Brady or Gronk oh. inside of it. So maybe the Jets do go on to become this great squad. But at the current moment, Jamal Adams Adam says, hey, this team has stunk. I think this team will stink. And now they're disrespecting me business-wise. I want to get the hell out of here. He said there were seven teams he would go to. His agent told Schefter, per sources, the Ravens, the Cowboys, the Texans, the Chiefs, the Eagles, the Niners, the Seahawks. There's not a lot of teams on there that have enough cap space to potentially want to make a play for Jamal Adams, who's due like $7.5 million next year. And the team that I am referring to in this exact point would be the Chiefs. They don't have enough money. Do the 49ers have enough money? Maybe. Do the Cowboys have enough money after this $31.4 million that Dak has allegedly already signed for in the franchise tag-wise? I'm not 100% sure. The Ravens could potentially bring him in. They got Lamar Jackson on cheap contract still. Seahawks, I'm not sure they'd be able to. Texans, they got rid of DeAndre Hopkins, but I'm not sure they'll be able to. There's a lot of interesting cap situations here for Jamal Adams, but I think one thing's clear is he would like to play somewhere else, and it feels like the Cowboys are probably his dream destination. Uh, looking at this on the website, it looks like the uh, estimated cap space for the Cowboys is around $10 million. But then the highest paid safeties are all making around 14, 13, 14 million. So is that this year 10 million for the Cowboys? Yes. Well, how are they going to pay Dak Prescott? That's after Dak. Okay, so they have $10 million <laughs> left altogether. And that also has to account for players that you get hurt potentially, maybe free agents, maybe signings in the middle of the year that you have to bring in. That $10 million has to be allocated to a lot of people. Although Jamal Adams is only owed $7.5 million next year, mm -hmm. they could technically afford him there and still have a couple million left on the other side. Maybe Uncle Jerry jones makes the call over there to gaze and says hey we'll get that problem out of your office and out of your building that you don't want there anymore in jamal adams